in Germany, where the parliament is debating the budget for Europe's biggest economy. In his speech to the Bundestag, Chancellor Olaf Scholz outlined his plans to spur economic growth and streamline the country's bureaucracy. The chancellor appeared with an eye patch, which he's been wearing since a jogging accident last weekend. The conservative opposition leader attacked the chancellor's budget plans, saying they provide insufficient support for the country's military and will not meet Berlin's NATO commitments. The debate is ongoing. Here's part of what Chancellor Schultz had to say. The seriousness of the situation is not rhetorical or a joke. In everything we do now, we need to make sure that we will be able to make these funds available. We will guarantee that the Bundeswehr reaches the 2% NATO quota in 2028, 2029, 2030 and through the 30s. That's how it's now meant to be. Our chief political editor, Michaela Kufner, has been following the debate in Germany's parliament. Michaela, Chancellor Schultz is on the defensive over the struggling economy. Any word on how he plans to fix it? Well, what he doesn't want to do is simply spend his way out of what some people are already describing a looming crisis. He says that Germans are particularly good at talking their own economy down and points to the fact that 100 billion euros in this upcoming budget that's still being discussed until November uh, is going towards infrastructure, half of that towards Germany's train system alone. So he wants to create growth from the inside and he has vowed to continue continue what are significant subsidies, um, which he, of course, doesn't call that way, uh, towards companies, uh, particularly in the semiconductor industry. Intel, for instance, just uh, got a pledge for 10 billion euros from Germany for investing 30 billion euros in this town of Magdeburg. Um, that, he says, ensures that Germany will also be uh, leading in a field of future uh, development of high-tech industries, creating well-paid paid jobs, uh, while, of course, the whole question of skilled labor remains an open one. And there, Germany, he says, it will also be more open to skilled labor. At the same time, he's calling on the opposition to play in the same team and wants to see a Germany pact, as he calls it, uh, to get more speed into the whole issue of planning processes here. As you well know, Germany's main opposition party says the government's budget plans aren't sufficient to address the huge challenges facing the country, including, by the way, continued support for Ukraine. How did the chancellor respond to that? Well, he rejects that very notion, and we are seeing uh, quite a bit of uh, political point scoring going on here. The fact is that uh, while there is no written commitment towards the 2% goal, the money, that's what the chancellor points towards, is there at the moment. There's 100 billion extra um, for investments in defense. And he says, yes, there is a spending gap, uh, a finance gap looming in the near future, but that uh, the tighter budget now, which is a post-COVID, post uh, having absorbed the shock of a war in Ukraine going on uh, budget, that's almost a third smaller than just a couple of years ago, um, that that will ensure that the money will be there. We have two more years to go in Olaf Scholz's coalition, and uh, the polling at the moment points towards the possibility of his opposition conservatives playing a growing role as we approach uh, the next elections in two years' time. Chief political editor there, Michaela Kufner, as always, many thanks.